In this tutorial, we'll uh, generate a 3D model based on uh, images using 123D Catch. We'll export the model to OBJ file and import it into Rhino. There are a few things to consider when taking photos for 123D Catch. First of all, uh, you should primarily stick to full shots. Try using a good camera with high resolution for maximum detail. You should also avoid uh, obstructing elements, as they will um, overlap your geometry. Try photographing in uh, consistent lighting conditions, so no flash. Also, you should avoid moving objects. Due to the nature of transparent and reflecting surfaces, they will uh, look different in every shot and as such they will most likely produce errors in your geometry. Also, repetitions can confuse the, the model generation. Start by uh, loading your images. You then organize the images in a correct order. This one is from left to right. So, create the project. You need to add a project name, supply your email, add a few uh, details. When you're ready, you can just wait for the calculation to, to finish, or you can uh, have Autotest send you a, a link using your email. So, this is a file. You can see uh, we have the five photos in the bottom of the screen. And using the Orbit tool, you can examine the model. You see we have overlapping elements here, so we might get some errors in the model here, but it's okay for now. Now export as uh, obj file. First uh, supply a file name. I'll use np14. And then select the obj file format. Click OK. Now we're in Rhino. You import the file. That's the one. Click OK. And I'll just use a shaded viewport. So this is the file. If you wish, you can rotate the geometry so it's not uh, at an angle like this one. Okay.